Hello everybody and we're gonna do free reading Friday and happy Hanukkah. So today is the first full day of Hanukkah. We're going to do what's your Hanukkah gonna be like. So whether you celebrate or not doesn't matter. Basically is what is your week and weekend going to be like? What should you do? What should you spend? Who should you hang out with? And is anything good gonna happen? So let's check this out and see what your your Hanukkah is going to be like this year. So if you are new here, do not forget to hit like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I just found out that comments actually are what shoots the algorithms up. So if you can possibly, I would appreciate it so much. Make a comment and don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And ring the notification bell. Apparently subscribing means nothing here on, on uh, YouTube. And they kind of willy-nilly tell you if there's a video or not. So that's a good place to start. Hit the notification bell. And also don't forget to check out my Facebook and Instagram for other updates and sales and all sorts of good stuff. So your first time here, you pick one, two, or three. Concentrate on your number, whatever pal speaks to you most. I'm going to flip the cards over and we're going to see how your week, weekend, and Hanukkah are going to be. So Hanukkah is 10 days? 10 days. Eight days? Eight crazy nights? Something like that. So, you ready? Okay, people number one, let's see what it's going to be. Ooh, interesting. I'm just going to move these up here. Okay, I'm not... We're not, we're not getting rid of them. Just move them up here. It says you're going to get advice from somebody older than you. This could be a boss, could be a manager, could be an uncle, grandfather, father, something like that. It does, it does appear to be a male character or it could be a super authority figure. Okay. So if you've got a boss bitch, that would also count. So this is going to have to do with, um, Either you need to work hard or you need to take a break. It's, it's not going to be in the middle. It's not going to be like, oh, you know, maybe work a little. It's either going to be like get your ass in gear or you need to start focusing on something else. Okay. This it's, it's, I wish I could tell you which one it is. We have to pull more cards. Don't forget. I do have uh, personalized uh, readings available, uh, 15 minute, half hour or one hour long readings. And you get to ask all the questions you want and uh, read their reviews. They're excellent. So this says that you're going to get some kind of advice and it's going to be coming from a person of power above you. Like I said, could be a boss, could be a relative, does look to be male or at least male energy. Like I know I have a lot of male energy because I'm kind of a uh, bossy bitch. So could be something like that has to do with either stepping it up at work or you need to take a break for the last couple weeks of December and just rest. Really has to do with work. Listen to what they have to say. Basically, what these cards are saying is don't blow it off. Don't brush it off. Don't, don't be like, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. Listen to it, okay? They're going to give you good advice. So now, people number two. You ready, people number two? You ready? Ooh, intrigue. Ooh, this is good. So this is about your love life. Oh, you got some drama. You got some drama going on. Now, this has to do with thinking that there's cheating going on. Either you're going to think that there's cheating going on or your significant other is going to think that there is cheating going on. There is not cheating going on. Okay? No matter what you think, no matter how bad it looks, unless you walk in and they are en flangrante, which means tab A and slap B, it's not happening, okay? Even if things look bad, look tricky-dicky, it's not going on, okay? But there is an accusation. Again, I would need more cards. Don't forget, get your own personal reading. I give the best readings. Either they're going to accuse you or you're going to want to accuse them. But it says if you do that, then there could be a breakup. There's definitely going to be heartache. There's definitely going to be some fighting, some major, you know, stuff hitting the fan. But... It doesn't have to be that way, okay? So really consider about pulling it back, not freaking out, not getting upset, not pushing the issue, and um, just biting your tongue for a little bit. It is the holidays. You're going to want to reel it back, okay? I don't see cheating. I don't see cheating. But if you are worried about it, number one, we can do a reading, a personalized reading for you. Number two, I have spell work for that, okay? We can fix almost anything, just so you know, Okay? People number three, Let's see what you got. Oh, oh, I'm actually going to flip these over this way. So there is a love 
there is a love coming to you. There is a love situation that you have been waiting for for a while. So if this is a crush you have been waiting on, if this is you've been waiting six years for him to finally put a ring on your finger, this is I've been single and now I need the person of my dreams to come in, it's coming. Okay, that's what this is all about. So you have um, love coming towards you and this is patience. So it is coming in. You may still have to wait a little bit. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Just have it. No, wait, where's, the, where's the camera? My new camera setup. That much. She's going to wait a little bit longer. So it does come in. It is your Christmas blessing. It is your holiday blessing. It is your Hanukkah blessing. Whatever you want to call it. But it, you just have to kind of let it give it space to come in. Okay? Kind of like if somebody was bringing you a brand new car, you would clean out the garage to make space for it, right? So this love blessing is coming in. Give it a little bit of space. It's going to come in. So you have some fun to be had on the holidays. Let's call it that way. So real quick, because we got done with those, I want to show you guys. Some of you may be new here. So I give, this is exactly the way I shuffle my cards all the time. Okay, so I have a couple different readings, and if you go through, I have a beautiful video that even describes how you order different readings, how you order different spells. So that is a very good video. I think it says Readings and Spell Work Explained is the title of it. So just real quick, I want to show you what it looks like when you get a reading. So let's say you order... Uh, I have two different kinds of reading. I have a text reading, which is exactly what it's called. <laughs> you you order a text reading, you text me your question, and then I text you back. Okay, that's what we're going to go over today. Then I also have phone readings. Phone readings are you order the reading, you let me know your name, how long the reading is, and days and times that you'll be available in Central Standard Time. And then we book the reading and we talk on the phone, just like I'm talking to you right now. It's really easy. So real quick to go over the two text message readings. Some people get a little bit confused. So let's go over them real quick and I'll show you what they look like. So let's say I'm just going to use real generic names. So don't, don't get offended. Okay. So let's say um, uh, Sue calls me. Okay. Or let's say Sue texts me. If she gets a Simple text reading, which is the $10 reading. Sue would say, is Bobby going to take me to the dance? Okay, that's a, you, I don't need a book because if you're sending me a book, it's not a $10 reading. It now becomes a $50 reading because I got to read the whole history of Bobby and Sue and all the breakups. And then the, he went with this girl over here and then the blah, 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 blah. That gets confusing. Just send the question. Okay, so if Sue sends me, gets a text reading and says, well, Bobby asked me to the dance, okay? A $10 reading goes like this. I ask the cards, okay? And then I flip the cards. This is exactly how I do your readings. I've been doing this for a million years, okay? I'll do one, that's usually my answer. See, that says not good news, okay? Then I do two. This usually clarifies the answer completely. I really don't have to go past two. That's not good news. That's not good news. Okay, both of these are upside down. Not good. Sometimes, not all the times, I'll do three. Okay, and this shows confusion. And this shows somebody at the end of this, mm, kind of walking out of the forest, maybe not being the happiest. Okay, so I would test text Sue's back. And I would say, unfortunately, it does not look like Bobby's going to ask you to the dance this time. You know, maybe give her like, you know, I got three cards that said no. Okay. That gives you your answer. It's not going to give you an explanation. It's not going to tell you when. A lot of times people will get the $10 reading and they'll be like, they'll ask 15 questions and then they'll say, and when? That's not what the $10 reading's for. Okay. It's not going to happen. It's just to give you a quick yes, no answer. What's going to happen? Okay. Now, let's say Susie orders the seven card reading. And she says, is Bobby going to ask me to the dance? Okay. This is exactly what I do. I shuffle the cards like this all day long, every day. Then I would lay the cards out. 
past, f far past, recent past, present, first future, near, near future is what that means, future a little further out, foundation card, head card, okay? That gives me so much more information because this card relates to this card, which, which relates to this card. These two cards relate to this card, okay? This, these three cards give me a whole entire new situation able to deal with things. Then this card relates to this card, which relates to this card. These two together relate to this card, and these two relate to this, and these two relate to this. So I have now 10 to 15 points of information, and I can read and I will text back on average about three to four paragraphs. Okay. Um, I will also send a picture of this. All right. So it's not just like, and I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit here. Okay. I'm just learning how to use this camera setup. So please forgive me. So I will send a picture of this. Okay. And then I will send three to four paragraphs explaining what's going on with Bobby and Sue asking to the dance. And I can say, and this is, I'm not reading these cards because it'll get way too involved, but I'll say it looks like, and I'll give some descriptors of the past. I don't waste your time talking about the past. You don't care about the past because the past already happened. Okay. I'm not going to waste your time and money talking about crap that already happened. That would be silly. Okay. But I will say it looks like you've had some, uh, this card literally means things are stuck in a rut. They're not going anywhere. This card means hopes have been dashed and things are not exciting and things are just not, again, not what you thought they'd be. So it'd be like, it looks like Bobby has disappointed you a lot in the past or you had hopes for a relationship. But this is where the bulk of the reading is going to be. It's going to be in this present line. It's going to be, there's an offer, but he's lying. That's a liar card. Just so you know, if I ever, if I ever talk to you and I'm like, girl, he lying. It's a liar card. It doesn't mean anything else lying, deception, omission, whatever you want to call it, but it's not a good card. So I'd be like, he's going to make you wait. He's going to make you, uh, maybe lead you on, make you think it's a possibility, but there, there could be an offer, but this is a card of, there are other offers. Okay. There are other offers and a good one's going to come out of nowhere. Okay. But Bobby's a liar. There's what this card says. Okay. He's going to make you wait. It's going to be one of those things where He's like, oh, I'm thinking about asking the dance. And then like the night before, never calls. Okay. And then it says, you're going to have a decision to make. First future, near future. You're going to have a decision to make. You're going to have to decide either to cut him off or to keep going with him. But long decision, long future, looks like you cut him off. Because the queen's sword is now up, which means she's not taking any SHI tut from anybody. So that's what I would send. That's a much bigger, more detailed reading than a $10 one question reading. So I have a lot of people, that's why I want to go over this. I have a lot of people who get the smaller reading and they want all sorts of detail. And I have to say, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And that's why, because that many more cards, just four more cards give me an exponential amount of of information that I can go from. So that was our free reading Friday for today. Don't forget, get lots of readings. Uh, they will help you. They're cheaper than therapy and I'm way more fun to talk to. Okay. Everything is solution based here. We always go toward a solution and I love to, I didn't realize how dirty my cards were until I got this white background. Um, I love to make sure to send you away with